Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this newest addition to my High Heels of Bitcoin series. In this episode, I will be talking to Amina Motala. You may know her from Twitter and from many different podcasts. Interview was great. So without any further ado, let's begin. Hi, so yeah, my name is Amina Motala and I'm from Ottawa, Canada. And for anyone who doesn't know where that is, Ottawa is the nation's capital of Canada. And uh, we are, uh, I would say the fifth coldest city in the world. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I started off in the blockchain space many years ago with an interest in Bitcoin. And just by watching a little documentary that when I was, you know, searching through the internet and saw this uh, very interesting idea and i thought right away actually it was immediate for me after watching it that i needed to get some bitcoin and i really wanted to uh, invest in it i saw the vision in it and but i tried and i tried to type it in you know how do you buy bitcoin and i i just it, it was too early in in the back then that it was pretty difficult to find and how to purchase it and i didn't have a lot of high tech background so i didn't understand how to go about doing that so um, a year would go by, I would still wonder about it. I always had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to invest in it. And a few years went by actually. And, and over those years, I kept looking, you know, at it and, and I didn't understand how it was working. I just still really wanted to invest. So by 2017, I did finally invest and uh, in August, and then I started a meetup and I, I did that because I really wanted to learn and join my community and connect with other people. So um, there's a lot of high tech in this area and started to meet up. I was lent um, a teaching room at Collab Space, which is a co-working space. And there I started to meet up bi-weekly and it was very successful and did really well um, through the bear market. You know, things got quieter always had at least you know three or four people show up and so we kept it going and and now it's been picked it's picked up again since last fall and anyway it's been wonderful i've met a lot of great people and i've joined twitter uh instagram so lots of, lots of social media and um, did a lot of meetups last year and conferences traveling a lot Got to travel lots with Bitcoin Ben, um, a lot of the Litecoin family. And so that that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. Um, and just building relationships and partnerships in the space. And uh, it's been fun. All right. Let me ask some questions before you answer them all. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, your adventure really started in uh, 2017, right? Uh, but did. when did you first hear, uh, heard about it? When when was it? 2010, 2013, 14? I'm trying to remember. And I would safely say 2012 or 2013. So and it, if it was earlier, I can't re I just can't remember. But definitely it was one of those two years. And yeah, yeah. and yeah. For most of the people on <laughs> today, it's like Bitcoin ancient history. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> long time ago. Yeah, that was very long time ago. Uh, so, uh, was it like you found about found out about Bitcoin on uh, on the internet, or maybe someone uh, told you about it? Well, it it was a little documentary. Uh, All right. Had published and put out a little documentary. Um, it was only a few minutes, and it was introducing Bitcoin. And then it was, or it might have been just somebody's YouTube channel. I can't really remember, but they were just discussing it and talking about it. But they had a lot of, they had a little bit of filmage to it, you know, where they were showing some technology and things like that and describing what they think the, um, who the group of people are that started it. And they had mentioned that they had assumed maybe it was a group of people out of Winnipeg, Canada. And that's when I thought it was really peculiar. I thought, Wow, that's bizarre right here in canada like why and who would these people be because they were anonymous that was the whole um you know what they were what they were discussing 
So it it was mysterious for sure. But later when I learned it was, you know, um, Satoshi Nakamoto is most probably a group of people. Uh, I just found that interesting that remembering I had watched that documentary. So, but that's how, but that is how I learned about Bitcoin. And I saw the vision in it as they explained it. Yeah, back then I think Bitcoin was just for geeks, computer geeks. <laughs> so it yes. was, yeah, it was very hard. Uh, and all right, but first question I think is I uh, I checked your Twitter and your Twitter name is Crowdfluence. Why? How did you come up with the idea? Do you want to influence the crowd? <laughs> yeah, at Crowdfluence <laughs> one, that would be my Twitter handle. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's a really good story and a good question because in Ottawa, I was at a meetup. Um, the man's name is Jordan St. Jacques and, uh, he had a meetup at Innovation Center at Bayview Yards, which is a really, um, I guess a high profile, high tech, uh, hub of the city. So it's, it's where a lot of new startups are now. Uh, and in that building, he had a meetup. I was there and, um, what was the question? Where am I going with this? I just <laughs> uh, about uh, about your Twitter account name, Crowdfluence. Yes, the Crowdfluence. <laughs> so um, he had approached me and he, it, he had created an app called Crowdfluence and it's for social media and it's working with micro influencers. So he liked the fact that, you know, what I was doing and just thought I'd be a great fit for his company and brought me in as a director of um, of relations. So I uh, started out with that and I started my Twitter account using that name and it just sort of stuck. And I've thought about it quite a few times that maybe I want to change that to something else. But um, I know I was going to just use my name, Amina Motala, but that's taken. So I'll have to get creative with that. Uh, you have mentioned the app, uh, social media app. Uh, is this like blockchain related or it's it's just the app? It isn't blockchain related yet. He was going to incorporate blockchain um, more for probably payments, uh, the payment system at that point. He, it's not live yet. He's still working on the app. So um, and he works with co-op students, too, actually, from Carleton University. So it's he's got some stellar co-op students that are gifted in this area and he's been working with them and they've come up with some great creations. So it's really neat. It's a really cool project that he's working on. But it's a great concept. And when it does go live, I'm sure it'll be a, a really great um, tool for everybody. So it's not uh, public yet? No, it's not live yet. All right. Uh, all right. My next question is, uh, you've mentioned your first investment. Uh, do you invest in cryptocurrencies? Uh, do you have any favorite altcoins? So it might be, it's just the Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, I certainly did end up investing in 2017. So I had bought my first coin was Bitcoin and um, Litecoin and Ethereum. And with Ethereum, of course, I was buying up some of the altcoins with all the the craze and all the excitement back then uh, during the bull run. So, but I would say if you're going to ask me my favorite coin, my favorite coin is Bitcoin. Some, pe <laughs> Some people will love you for that because yes, <laughs> I am not, yeah. I am not that Bitcoin frenzy. I love the altcoins. I love the Bitcoin. Of course, I, yes. I, I had yeah. hate scams because there are scams everywhere. Yes, you uh, have to be very careful. <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, oh, oh, about those scams. Uh, did you invest in any bad project? Do you have any bad experiences with <laughs> with some maybe Ponzi schemes or uh, super cool projects that uh, should yeah, change? Yeah, no, <laughs> that's a great question as well. Um, I has I was invited to a BitConnect meetup, <laughs> like a meeting and somebody's house. And I remember sitting there listening to the guy and thinking, hmm, I don't think this sounds very good. And so I warned like the people that I was with and I said, I don't know, guys, I really, I know, and be very careful, be very cautious of stuff like this. It sounds like a Ponzi and I did not invest and some of those people lost money. So good for you. I have lost yeah. like uh, uh, 26, no, not 2600, $260. Uh, oh, but, did you? Uh, yeah, but uh, 
I l I've learned and now I can <laughs> I can uh, yeah. I know I can say that it's scam when I see it but to be honest yeah. uh, I don't regret that because uh, because yeah. we have great music videos <laughs> especially <Right>. those <laughs> those with Carlos <laughs> The memes are fantastic, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I so. know, I love it. No, it is and it's it's actually just made a great example for everybody to learn from. So you're absolutely right. And two hundred and sixty dollars, I mean, it's not a huge loss. You never yeah. want to lose any money, of course, but it's uh it certainly makes for a good way to learn and not very expensive. So Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's better to lose some than yeah. and learn than lose a lot. So some people took debts or I don't know, sold their houses to invest in BitConnect yeah. and they have lost everything. So I know it's so sad, really. There's been a couple of them like that, that, you know, that scammed people like that. All right. I have also checked your YouTube channel. Uh, oh, yeah. And yeah, I see uh, you do a lot of interviews, pod podcasts also, right? So uh, tell me yeah. more about it and tell me how do you find those all those people do you just uh, message them or maybe email them <laughs> yeah you want some tips sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course yeah um yeah you know what i think just being on twitter and interacting with everybody on there in crypto twitter it's very friendly um it's very easy to reach people because you can you can interact and get involved that way so that's basically what i've done and also, you know, the travels, I got to meet some of them in person and have that opportunity to build, you know, relationships further, having meeting them in real life. But like, for instance, I did an interview with John McAfee and Janice McAfee. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but it's there on my channel. And that was really fun because I was interacting a lot on their tweets on Twitter. And one day I just said to John, you know what, how about an interview with Janice? I would love to interview her. And he said, that's brilliant. Nobody has ever interviewed her. So I got the first interview ever with Janice McAfee. And um, that was very exciting. So, you know, it, it just just by being on Twitter, I was able to do that. And, and I have met Bitcoin Ben off of uh, Twitter and Instagram as well. And uh, just it's yeah, just keep keep, you know, doing your thing on there and talking and being interactive and you build it up and I can always, you know, say, Hey, you know, you should check this guy out and be on his show. So we all help each other too. A lot of support. Yeah. Bitcoin ban is great, but I have one question about John McAfee because he looks yeah. a bit crazy. Uh, is it just the act? <laughs> uh, is it just the act or maybe he is a little crazy? <laughs> Yeah, well, you know what? I don't have any NDAs or anything with him, so I can tell you. <laughs> um, he's a super nice man, a wonderful person, him and Janice. They are extremely nice people, very, very polite, very lovely to talk to, great storytelling, and they. a lot of that's an act. <laughs> a lot of that is an act. And, I thought that. Yeah, and um, I mean, he has lived a pretty vicarious life, um, but I think where I think a lot of what he does is to say, "Hey, people, look at lo look at life this way. Look at me. Look what I'm doing." And it might be created and made up and great big stories added to it, but it gets people's attention. Yeah. And I think he's trying to help people come out of that, you know, that, that, that straight tunnel that a lot of us walk through in life. And he's trying to say, you know, Hey, look at me, look what I'm doing, you know, like wake up. I, I think a lot of that is about that really. So it's interesting. Yes. I completely agree. Sometimes you have to look at your life at what you're doing from a perspective, from the other point of view. Uh, right. So don't walk the straight line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have to learn to think for yourself, right? Yes. Start thinking yeah. for yourself. It's really, yes. really important. Uh, yes. I always tell that to my, uh, to my viewers, if you are buying some coin, some token only because I said I like it or I did an interview then you're an idiot. Think for yourself. Yes. Think for yourself. And yeah. I think that's like going back to your question. I think that's what John is doing. You know, he makes people think, you know, like 
you know, of course there's going to be the, the trolls and the haters and all of that and the people who judge, but you know, you have to wonder sometimes he comes way off from left field saying the most ridiculous things and it makes you think, right? <laughs> like it's, yeah, it's important. I think the message is to, to think for yourself and to really look at things for what they really are and, uh, or what they really are, not what you're, what's in front of you, you know, that as well. So uh, speaking about trolls, yes, they are everywhere. Uh, yeah. I, I've started special on my Discord server because I have my own Discord server and uh, I have a special room there called Keyboard, Keyboard Warriors. So okay. when someone um, comments on my YouTube channel and he doesn't care, but he says stupid things uh, right. or try to attack me, but without without curses, so I don't delete his or ban him, uh, I just right. uh, say to him, uh, congratulations, you are the next week's winner of Keyboard Warriors. <laughs> and, and yeah, <laughs> and it stopped them. To be honest, right. it stopped them. Yeah, because uh, uh, sometimes people, for example, I say uh, someone accused me that I uh, delete uh, YouTube comments and I say, I don't do it. And he said, you lie, you're doing it. And I said, of course, you're right. Of course, you're right. Right. <laughs> stop them. Just agree with them, right? Yes, yes. Agree, agree with them, and they will lose yes. their weapons. They don't know what right. to do. Yeah, it's really smart. <laughs> Good one. Good yeah. on you. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, let's move to those uh, events and, and meetings you've mentioned uh, that you live in Ottawa, Ottawa, right? Uh, Ottawa. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I found out about something called blockchain and Bitcoin Ottawa. Yes, blockchain and Bitcoin Ottawa is my meetup. Ottawa. So that's the name of my meetup and I'm actually managing three meetups because wow. two of them went inactive and I was able to then take them and, um, and, and, and gain those members from the other two. So, so yeah, that's, those are, that would be the main one. So, so that's like a local meeting. Mm, I don't know how many people <laughs> yes. participate. So, yeah. Like, are you familiar with meetup site? It's called meetup and I think so, yeah. right. So uh, we just started, you, like I just started a meetup for blockchain and Bitcoin, kept it very general and that's really about it. And so anybody who has any interest either in the blockchain tech or in investing. Um, and of course I always tell people, you know, when you come, it's our meetup. So if you want to share any information, it's an interactive discussion. And I like to keep it as a discussion. So sometimes I, I definitely will show things. And I've always talked about safety, how to stay safe with your your investments and, you know, things to look for, little tricks, what to do and hardware wallets and things like that. So I did, I've done a lot of talks on that. Um, yeah, so really basic, but uh, sometimes we get into some great conversations. Um, it can lead to, you know, philanthropic discussions or, you know, all these people get excited about, you know, the, the technology and it, especially back, you know, a couple years ago, it, the energy was just like, it's just vibrating with everybody. And, but there's always great discussions that come out of it. So I really encourage people, if you're in your communities and you want to learn or you want to connect with others, um, starting a meetup or any kind of group like that, it's easy to do. And you'd be surprised who would show up and what you can build and create for yourself. And, you don't have to be an expert to, to do that. So, of course, yeah. uh, I say that there are no experts in this market because this uh, this industry is too. Uh, it's not old enough to to have experts. That's but right. I also run local meetings or local uh, crypto meetings in my city. And yes, the community, I think the community is the greatest thing uh, in this space. I meet a lot of great, great people. And Good of course, you. yeah, and we have uh, it's very easy for me, well, maybe I exaggerate, but uh, it's easy because uh, we have a software company uh, that uh, I can say rent, they rent, right. rent uh, give us for free their, their uh, uh, local, how do you call it, a place where we meet, let's, let's say it. we have, uh, okay. so we have like a projection system and a sound system so we can meet there, we don't have to pay anything for it. So we meet every month. It's like I don't okay. know, 20, 30, sometimes 40 people. Nothing big, but I am pretty, 
good. That's a good size. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, to be honest, uh, there are people uh, from other cities uh, joining us. <laughs> so nice. I think it's pretty successful. <laughs> That's fantastic. Keep it up. Yeah, I would. I definitely will. I definitely yeah, will. Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, I found one more thing. It's called uh, the Ottawa uh, Crypto Monetary Meetup. Can you tell me more about it? The Ottawa. Say that again. Uh, the Ottawa Crypto Monetary Meetup. Monetary. Monetary. Yeah, right. I found it on uh, your. I, f I think I found it on your uh, YouTube page in in the information section. Yeah, the uh, yes, that would be the other one. So I've got the blockchain and uh, and Bitcoin Ottawa, the tokens. Are you talking about tokens? The Ottawa crypto. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. And then blockchain Ottawa. Yes. So it's honestly those that was that one and the other one were two meetups that were inactive. So they stopped being um, active for a little bit. And so the meetup site will just request to me and ask me, you know, do you want to manage this meetup site? And I thought Wow, I'm allowed up to three under my subscription. So I thought, yeah, I'll take them. There's a lot of members there. That's fantastic. You know, so that's how. So really, it's whatever that I'm doing. Um, I offer to those two meetups and um, I, they, I never changed the names on them. I just left them the way they were. So but they don't meet anymore. They just join people join your meetup, right? Yeah, they'll just come to my meetup from those mm. meetups. So I just send a generic email to all three of those is what I do. <laughs> Why not? I mean, they were inactive. They were just sitting there. Yes, so. of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's talk about conferences. Uh, do you only meet locally or you travel to the other cities, maybe to the United States? Yep. Yeah, for sure. Um, so there is one that I go to here in auto in sorry, in Canada, in Toronto. And that's the Futurist Conference. That's a very good conference, actually. Um, the venue is really nice in Toronto, down by the water. And Tracy Laporlu, she's the organizer. She's done a fantastic job uh, the two years that I've gone. So I really, really recommend that as a conference to go to. Um, it's well organized. Uh, there's just so many events organized, uh, evening, social, uh, day, food, everything is, is thought thought out. So really well done. And um, I've been to uh, Vegas World CryptoCon. I was there in October. That was really good. Um, if you like Vegas, then even better. Vegas is not really my thing, but it was interesting to go to. I actually had never been there before. So that was interesting. Um, but the actual conference was great. And the Litecoin Summit, Litecoin Summit was there as well. So those are really two good conferences. Uh, I just came back from um, Bit Blockchain Miami and that was Bitcoin Miami. That was in obviously in Miami. I was there in January. So that was very exciting. I really liked that one. It was smaller, um, not too big. It was uh, one room, a very large room for speakers. So it was really nicely done. And there was some great networking. For me, it was really um, valuable. A lot of great people there that I could network with. So I was pretty happy with that conference. And again, it was well organized. They had some really nice social events uh, outside um, of the day events, of course, in the evening. And they were well done. Very, very nice. So enjoyed that. And of course, I've been to some meetups throughout the year, the Bitcoin Ben meetups. Those are a lot of fun. Bitcoin Ben, if anyone doesn't know, he's a uh, cryptocurrency evangelist and a revolutionist uh, type person. Um, he's really a wealth of knowledge. He's a systems guy. He really understands how the system works. And he's great at explaining it um, in layman terms. Uh, he's got, uh, he's really connected in the space too. So he's always lending some great information and insight. And um, he's got a pretty cool Patreon channel that he has where you can sign up for five bucks a month, like a membership thing where you get a little bit more of the uh, inside information. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he gets some good content, like really good quality content a lot of the time. So I got to know him and go to some of his meetups. 
and uh, lots of fun. Like a lot of the Litecoin family people, they end up going there. Clint Westwood and um, the Crypto Campfire guys and Red Cat. Um, uh, I like Lemonade, Rebecca. So a lot of great people have been there and I've got to meet and hang out. And so we've had a lot of fun. So there's that. And um, yeah, so yeah, it's, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I went to quite a few Ben meetups, so there was a lot of travel. I've had the pleasure of talking to both Kat and uh, Rebecca. I think the interview, yeah. interview with, with, with Rebecca was last week, I think. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's hard to get Kat in an interview. I tried to, but she's very shy. So <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I've, I've tried to get an interview with her, but uh, did not succeed. So that's okay. It's, it's, you know, if you want to do that, it's up to that person. Yeah, of course, of course. But yeah, I, I've had no problems. To be honest, yeah. I, I've messaged her and she said, it's a great idea. All right, let's let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Red Cat said that? No, uh, Rebecca. No, Rebecca, yes. No, Red, I'm talking about Red ah, Cat. She, oh. She's hard to get. She's like, oh, and I'm so shy. And I said, oh, you could do it. <laughs> I am, but, yeah. I, I am surprised that you say that because <laughs> it, it was not like it. Yeah, I, I, I messaged her and she said, all right, let's no, do it. No, you're talking about Rebecca. No, I'm talking about Red Cat. Oh, she did say yes. Okay. Yes, there, uh, there is uh, her uh, interview with her on my channel. Yes, of course. Okay, so maybe she's getting more comfortable with the idea. That's great. Good. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, now let's talk about crypto Twitter because I think uh, the Twitter is the most, the be the best uh, platform for <laughs> cryptocurrencies. Yes. Uh, of course, you have uh, you have YouTube for videos, but. Uh, entire action is on Twitter. It's like those all those wars and <laughs> all this funny yeah, stuff. It's, so it's so true. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any um, any favorite profiles, both male and female? And of course, I ask about ladies because I always try to find more ladies to <laughs> to talk to. Uh, sorry, your question is profiles with. What was sorry? Can you just repeat the question? Uh, yeah, my question is: uh, Do you have any favorite profiles? Do Do you have some people okay. that you like the most on crypto Twitter? Um. Wow. Every time people ask me about favorites, I have a hard time answering that question. Um. There are. Oh gosh, how can I think of? There's so many. Um. Ken Bozak is very entertaining. I must say <laughs> he and I think what it is with his is just because he, it's Ken Bozak. He has a lifestyle that he lives. He doesn't care what anybody thinks. He's um, very free in his world and he lives it. And I think I appreciate that in him that he he lives a life that way and um, and expresses it the way he does. Um, it's not always what everybody wants to see or hear. But I just uh, appreciate the fact that he's so honest to himself. He's true to himself. So that's interesting to watch. He's a smart man. I know him. I know Ken well. He's a very smart guy. So uh, it's interesting to follow some of his thoughts and what he, um, you know, his views on things. He also has a YouTube channel. So I do like to see that. Of course, there's Ben. I like Ben. I'm on. I'm a moderator on Ben's um, YouTube channel on his show. Um, he always has interesting tweets. And I've been following uh, John McAfee is always an interesting man to follow, of course, um, and Janice for that matter. Uh, there's oh, there's so many. Um, I like Loriana. She's wonderful. <laughs> I really like Loriana. Yeah, she's uh, great. She's got a, yeah, she is great. She's got a lot of great content. Um, beautiful girl too. By the way, did and, you did you know that she is Polish? Okay, I thought so because I saw Polish uh, her speaking to a few influencers in Polish, and they were going back and forth. They just discovered they all spoke Polish. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah, uh, I I did an interview with her. Uh, I think it was three months ago. And, in Polish. Uh, yes, in uh, no, we did it in English, uh, but okay. there were some parts in Polish. Uh, and we oh. uh, she also joined me on my live streams because I live stream on every Sunday. 
Uh, okay. it, it's called uh, Cryptocurrency Sunday with Mike. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's and awesome. uh, yeah, but of course it was my live streams. My live streams are in Polish, but yes, Loriana yeah. is great. She's great. She's yeah. really great. Um, I follow Tech Lords, of course. Tech Lords is a good friend of mine. He's a trader, so he does uh, trading posts. But he's going to be changing his trading posts to travel posts because he's going to be traveling around the world. So um, I know him personally. We're very good friends. And I actually have very exciting news to talk about regarding tech. So I'll tell you that after. Um, you'll be the first to hear about it, too. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Rice Crypto, he's a good friend too. I follow his posts. He's really good. And that's Rice Crypto. He also has a YouTube channel. Um, Red Cat, of course, we talked about it. Clint Westwood, he's got some great videos he puts up there. Um, really good content, actually. I'm just going through and looking because there's so many. Um, it's easier to just see it here. And um, there's. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I think I've mentioned quite a few there, but yeah, yeah. there's so many. There's so many. There yes. really are. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I, I had to create some lists of people on Twitter. There's a function there, a built-in yeah. function, because uh, it becomes a mess. You can, you have to, I have the list called, I think it is, it's called blockchain ladies. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so sometimes it's hard to find the information on Twitter, even, yes. even if you sort them by newest, sometimes can, you can That's sometimes great. skip some information. So Twitter is great, but it's sometimes it's very hard to find the information there. Uh, the reason I ask about Twitter, as I said before, I always try to find new ladies to this high heels of Bitcoin series. <laughs> so yeah. maybe it's a great name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. To be honest, in Polish, it sounds a bit different because mm, it's somehow related to the uh, to the TV show in Poland. Uh, but uh, right. I had to translate to English, and oh, it was it was hard to, <laughs> and I couldn't uh, couldn't get the same meaning. But someone someone told me, let's try high heels of Bitcoin, and I said, right, it sounds good. Right, and it works actually. It's yeah, it's catchy. Uh, yeah. So do you have any ladies to recommend? <laughs> uh, ladies um, to that you can interview. Did you yeah. talk to um, NRD? What, I don't know. She, she has it as NRD GR1007. It's Nicole. Have you talked to her? No. With the blonde hair? No. So it's, okay. So her Twitter site is at NRD. All right. G R. All right. One zero zero seven. All right. So it's yeah. So N R D G R L zero zero seven. Right. One zero zero seven. Yeah. Oh, all right. Great. So do you? Yeah, she's she's newer on. I believe she's newer. Well, she's getting more involved into the crypto Twitter lately in the last couple months, and she um has started this dating crypto dating thing. So it'd be interesting to get her to talk about that on your show. Yeah, of course. And yeah. So it's really cool. It's really, she's fun. She's got a lot of creativity in her. So she interviewed me. So definitely somebody to who else? Um, I'm just looking. Oh, Elise Sam. I met her in Miami. What a great gal. I really I really like her. Um, she is, I'll tell you her. Okay, Elise. It's at Elise Sam. So A-L-Y-Z-E-S-A-M. And I can send you these. Too. Yes, of course. So, so let's not search for it right sure. now. So yes, if but you... people can look them up as we're saying them. Like, yes, of there's course. Bitboy. Bitboy is really cool. He's got a lot of funny, entertaining posts. Crypto Stash does as well. Um, yeah, just uh, Coin Flip ATM. They're great. Those guys are awesome. So Coin Flip, I'm be. They want to sponsor me actually, and I want to help them bring up their ATM machines to Canada. 
Um, they were the second largest Bitcoin ATM machine in the world. And Daniel Plotsky is the owner, a uh, great guy. He's only 24 years old, really smart guy. And he did this, uh, started this a few years ago. So he's done very well. Do you have a lot of ATMs in Canada? Not a lot, but it's certainly growing. Um, our major mall here in the West End of Ottawa, we have a Bitcoin ATM. So um, they are in the malls now. They, they in the major malls, there there definitely are. There's even one in the smaller mall, Westgate Mall. There's an ATM. So they're appearing more and more. Definitely, you know, they're accessible now um, at all ends of the town. So that's pretty good. Yeah, to be honest, there's with that. a there's actually um, a walk in cryptocurrency exchange i call it a bank because apparently it looks like a bank but you can walk in and there's a teller and it's only cryptocurrency <laughs> great uh, that's a great yeah, idea it's in, Montre in laval laval montreal uh, we have a lot of atms and crypto atms in poland uh, i think okay. in in the warsaw itself there are like i don't know 10 maybe 12 atms oh really yeah, oh wow yeah, okay yeah. So, nice. so so yeah and there is one in my city but uh, but the they their rates are very high so <laughs> i i prefer to buy online with my credit card so yeah yeah the rates can be very high i know with coin flip atm they're the lowest rates for atm machines i'm free wow. i believe yeah so um yeah he wants to expand so and we really want to have them come up to ottawa or to canada so I'm going to assist in helping with that. I would like to. Yeah, I think the ATM market is growing rapidly worldwide because there are ATMs, I think, everywhere. Uh, I think yeah. Germany is lacking the ATMs. I think there are like, I don't know, maybe three for the mm -hmm. entire country. So, so it's Oh, is not... that right? Yeah, and I, I am not sure, but I think there are not, not many of them in Germany. Okay, uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. By the way, do you have to do like a KYC in uh, in your ATMs in Canada? I've never bought from an ATM oh. here, but typically you do have to do KYC. I know with CoinFlip you have to do your name and um, I think your email or your phone number, name and phone number, and that's it. So uh, up to a certain amount, usually with ATMs, it's up to a certain amount. And then if you are, you know, transacting with more than say a thousand dollars or something like that, then the KYC increases, they need more, which means know your own customer, which means yeah. your own personal information for anyone who doesn't know that. Yeah. Yes, of course, of course. Uh, in Poland, we don't have KYC in ATMs. We can buy, really? yeah, we can buy up to uh, 15, uh, uh, 15,000 euro uh, so what? yeah so it's like i don't know seventeen thousand dollars <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. with no kyc with no no kyc there is one atm uh, okay. that you have to scan your id you cannot cover your face but basically all of them are kyc oh, okay. free so of course the european union is uh, is trying to <laughs> kyc yeah. them but hold but, down on that yeah. i'm sure but for now uh because there is uh, i think there is the law uh, that, that uh, up to uh, up to 15000 uh, 15000 euros you don't have to yeah. ver verify your customer so so they are using that but our government will change it for sure i am yes. i'm pretty sure yeah. that there is there is a new directive called uh, called uh, fifth, uh, fifth aml uh, directive from european union and uh, they do you you know what they on they even wanted to kyc the crypto wallets <laughs> they wanted oh <laughs> that's completely oh stupid and uh, i am i am pretty sure it will never it will never be that because you have you can make a uh, crypto wallet yourself you can right. just write the code right. so yeah exactly yeah yeah so so it's easier for us to buy <laughs> crypto without any <laughs> ever wow that's really really good to know actually hmm. all right interesting all right, uh, yeah. now let's leave the crypto space. Let me ask you about your hobbies because I am pretty sure <laughs> you don't, <laughs> you are not all the time in crypto space. So what do you like to do in your free time? Sure, I can, I'm gonna see if I can find something here. I um, paint and I started painting wow. years ago, oil paintings. 
uh, oil on canvas. So sometimes some of my interviews, I have my one of my paintings behind me. This one is not. It's a picture, and it's 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 not mine. Um, but I have a painting that I usually have behind me. It's of an ocean with my children swimming in it, and I painted it. So um, yeah. So I like to paint. Uh, I haven't painted in a little while, I have to admit, because I'm sort of uh, in transition of where I'm living. And I have a lot of stuff in a, in a storage unit, actually, at the moment. And because I'm going to be traveling soon. <laughs> this is my new, my new, um, I'm trying to see if I can find that. My new venture in life. I'm going to be traveling as a digital nomad. So... Uh if you send me the picture of your painting, I can put it in there, uh, in our video, in our interview. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can always do that. Wow. So, yeah, so that's going to be very exciting to do that. And uh, I'm looking forward to that very much. So, so I am, I am pr impressed. I am impressed because my painting skill, I, I can draw a circle. Uh, I oh, can draw a triangle and rectangle. Uh, basically, that's. <laughs> I'll show you. See if you can have to see if it focuses. Maybe not. I think you will have to send it to me. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's uh, not very good. So it's the third. I think you are the third artist I interview because uh, I've been talking to Loriana and she paints. Oh, she's. Okay. Yeah. She's an amazing artist. Yeah. I don't come anywhere close to her. She's an amazing artist. Yeah. Uh, and and also uh, Michelle Mafra. Uh, I think she's Mamai Crypto. Uh, she's oh, also okay. yeah. Yeah. I cool. think I think Kat recommended her for me. So. And uh, Nano Burks. She's a she's a crypto artist. Yeah. So Nano Burks is really good. And these are all other artists. Um, or sorry, crypto influencers or content creators that I like as well, that I do like to watch. So Nana Burks is really great. Vesa, he's a great artist. Um, I've met him a couple times now. I met him in Vegas and I met him in my, Miami. Vesa, uh, at Art Vesa on Twitter. Yeah, he's- You, you will have to you will have to send me the list of <laughs> all those. Luciano Poletti, he's another great crypto artist. Oh my gosh, yeah. To be honest, I admire artist, uh, artists. Well, I, I, I can fix basically anything in my house, but I cannot paint. I can paint the walls. Of course, I can paint right. the walls. <laughs> right, right, right. One color. Right. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes two. Sometimes two. Sometimes two. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, so, uh, well, well, last question. Uh, your plans yes. for, for the future. Where do you see yourself in like, I don't know, one year, five years? Good question. That's a very good question. So my plans for the future, I really want uh, to see myself working in the in this space of cryptocurrency and blockchain. And that is what I'm doing right now is building up, um, you know, that part of my life with uh, with projects and things like that. So Right now, I'm going to be venturing off into this journey that I was telling you about, and I'm going to be traveling um, through Europe. So wow. I will be trekking through Europe, and if I come your way, I'll come knocking on your door, and yes. I'll find out where your meetup is. Let me know, so, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'm going to be doing that, and I really look forward to it. So my office goes with me. But uh, if I need to be anywhere or fly to any, you know, conference or something, I will get there. It won't be an issue. So I'm going to venture off and do this. And um, I'm very excited. So I think just to, to look down the road, you know, a year or two from now, I want to see myself running what I'm doing, running this um, operation of building up uh, other projects helping bring it together in the space and connecting those needed to be connected with and maybe start my my own project so yeah that's always a good idea if you have some yeah. good idea then yeah your project and of course blockchain is the future so absolutely yeah i'm in it 100 percent. like there's no question it's my passion yeah i also started in 
2017 i i chose nice. i chose the worst time because my uh, youtube channel started on uh, december 4th so it was the end of the bubble okay uh, but now the the next bull run is coming <laughs> so yeah, yeah it's coming <laughs> buckle up <laughs> all right that was the last of my questions so okay nice great questions by the way thank you thanks so much for joining me so let's say goodbye thank to you. our viewers okay well thank you so much for having me it was it was a pleasure to be here bye everybody <laughs> yeah it was a real pleasure talking to you bye bye <laughs>